Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Please visit www.comlexflashcards.com for additional Comlex prep resources as well as subscribe to our blog as you prepare for the board exam and throughout medical school. Let's review acute scrotum pathology. Keep in mind that you'll find various questions on the board exam dealing with varicoceles, epididymitis, testicular torsions, and so it's important to understand how to group these diseases and answer board exam questions. First you want to take a look at the history and physical exam. You want to look at the duration. That's key. Is it an acute process? Um, and if that's the case, it's more urgent and you want to look for a surgical exploration as your option. So sur short duration um, you know, negative urinalysis and a high probability of torsion should lead you to the diagnose, should lead you to treating the patient with a surgical exploration. If there's a longer duration of symptoms and a positive urinalysis, um, then there's probably a lower probability of a torsion, and the next step should be to get a color Doppler ultrasonography. After that, you want to determine if there's increased or normal blood flow, or if there's decreased or absent blood flow in your results. If there is increased or normal blood flow, then you're looking at a non-operative management or plain observation. However, if there's decreased or absent blood flow on the color Doppler ultrasonography, then you're looking at a surgical exploration. So testicular torsion is basically twisting of the testes and the spermatic cord around a vertical axis. This leads to venous obstruction, progressive swelling, arterial compromise, and eventually testicular infarct. Here is a diagram reviewing the pampiform plexus, internal spermatic artery, and the vas deferens, and it shows you here in the figure how testicular torsion leads to an acute process that typically is a surgical emergency and must be dealt with immediately. So you must be this differential must be considered as your initial diagnosis of any type of a scrotal pain because this is considered to be an emergency. Okay, Your exam reveals painful testy that may have a high lie. Now it usually occurs in young males and the presentation is of a sudden onset of scrotal pain, um, past medical history of possible crypto orchidism, red swollen scrotum, and a negative friend sign. This is a sign where pain is relieved by the elevation of the testicles. And in testicular torsion, this is a negative sign. And so that should help you clue your diagnosis. The management here is very important. It's emergent surgical detorsion. So on the board exam, if you see that, you know the key thing is to go to the OR. Let's review a differential of the various scrotal pathologies. So for example, you have to first perform a history and physical exam and if the patient has a consistent history of torsion and pain for less than six hours this is an acute process you know immediate surgical exploration has to be considered if the patient has a questionable diagnosis or pain has been lasting for greater than six hours again as we mentioned get the Doppler ultrasonography and look for the blood flow there's decreased blood flow, again, this clues you into your diagnosis of testicular torsion and take the person to the OR. If, however, there's a positive urinalysis and there is normal to increase blood flow, then you're looking at some sort of an inflammation, an orchitis, epididymitis, and so, you know, torsion is lower on your differential and you don't need any further testing at this point. Again, that was a quick review of testicular torsion. Please visit Comlex flashcards.com for complete complex prep resources as you prepare for the board exam and good luck in your preparation for the boards.